Hey guys, what's up? Just finished another work, work week. Um, finished uh, around 3 o'clock. I brought the uh, Hitchacue to work today. Everybody at work loved it. We had a great meal. A bunch of guys brought some uh, sausages, hamburgers and stuff. This uh, Nico dude, his mom made this awesome like Greek pasta salad. It was delicious. Wow, that's a good looking truck. That's a good looking truck. And anyways, um, we're going home right now to scrap a Ford. Dirty old Ford. Oh shit. Look at that nice old Chev. Oh yeah. That looks Okay, okay, but back to me. Back to me. All right, so we're going to scrap a Ford. I'm taking off tomorrow morning, going to BC. My sister's wedding is next weekend, so we're going to be spending a week there, week and a half, just hanging out, chilling out, having a good time. We're going to go on a gold digging adventure. So uh, we're going to do this, this uh, scrapping. We're gonna clean up a bit. I gotta make some templates for the Camaro so that the glass guy can cut out all my Lexan. And uh, okay, well, we'll see you when we get home. Okay, we made her home, and uh, this is the Hitcher Barbecue for you guys that have never seen this when I built this a uh, year and a half ago. Um, yeah, basically a bolt in the hitch. You undo it, you pull it out, your tailgate comes down, you cook food, put your shit away. Whatever, so uh, I'm just gonna take it off there. It's pretty simple, just take the bolt out, slide it out, and uh, we're gonna go scrapping. All right, we got the Ford all packed up. The tires are not doing the best, but they're, <laughs> they've got 50 pounds in them. And they're Ranger tires, so uh, we're heavy. We're real heavy. We're gonna take our time, we're just gonna get there. We're gonna uh, get our money, and that's it. All right, we'll see you at the scrapyard. Okay, we made it to the scrapyard. It's fucking. Door doesn't even shut no more, because look at this. Oh yeah, just pulled the whole thing. Good, good solid truck. Anybody need a truck? Load it with scrap, right to the top. Should be a good one, fellas. Should be a good one. Okay, I'm gonna unhook this up, and then I'm gonna let the loader guy take it away. Did you do some strategic driving there off because it was so heavy, you couldn't lift it? There you go, boys. Uh, down. Now let's go get paid so we can find out how much spending money I have out of town. Hey guys, so as you could tell, you know, no more beard. My sister wanted me to shave for her wedding, so I did the big brother thing and I shaved, which, you know, didn't bug me too, too much. But anyways, in this video, the, uh... You know, there's lots of footage that was left out. Not left out, but, you know, like, I didn't get lots of footage. Just busy doing stuff with family, you know, went white, white water rafting. Um, you know, can't bring your phone white water rafting or your camera. Because that will destroy it, probably. So we did that. We, um, I built a sluice box. We went gold panning that you'll see some of, but you know, I didn't show you absolutely everything. But in videotape, absolutely everything, you know. There's stuff here and there. So there's going to be lots of random stuff and lots of, uh, like stills. I'm going to put this, like, a, like I put all a bunch of stills in there. And, uh, anyways, enjoy. And I, one more thing. There's this thing called the, uh, it's a French tradition where the if the eldest isn't married and a younger sibling gets married, the older sibling has to dance in his socks. So that happened, and I was really drunk. So if I can, I will post a link on my Rivas Radical Rides page on Facebook. You know, I'll, I'll post the link to Reva's Radical Rides, and it should be the top story there. Uh, 
uh, it's a video of me dancing in my socks, drunk as hell. So enjoy the video. Thanks, and I'm back. Blinking. Hey, look, it's a Shelby Cobra. <laughs> I want one right now. It's such a beautiful car. Let's not rear end it. Mm, smell that? It smells delicious. Like you fried it again? No, it's just grease fuel. <laughs> Can you disinfect it because that's where Yeah. Today on Reva's Radical Rides, my sister looks hungover. <laughs> my mommy looks happy. My daddy's busy being daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess I got left in charge of cooking supper. Now I don't know about you guys, but uh, you failed to mention you Okay, you paid for it, I'm cooking it, alright? Okay. Capiche. Capish Kapashki. That's enough out of you. Alright, so we're here in BC once again. And uh, this lady right here is getting married in a couple days. And does she look happy about it? Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Marriage. What is that? Anyways, so tonight we got some uh, filet mignon. Poppy uh, went all out. So I'm cutting these boys up. We're going to grill them out on the big old barbecue outside. And uh, I'm going to get drunk and well marinated. And I'm going to get these steaks well marinated. Well, right, look at you guys remember this thing? Come on. All right, we got our meat here. And I mean, I know. Let's cook for everyone on this son of a bay. Whew. Let's get focusing on this there. I mean, look at this meat. I mean, oh boy, oh boy. All sorts of cuts here, folks. Cuts for the young and old. Smaller pieces are a bit thicker. Yeah. This is good. That's all the meat I got for today. <laughs> oh, we almost can't even fill it up. Shit. All right. So I'm gonna usual do my usual technique. I like to flip them more than once, you know. Lock in both sides and all, like sear both sides, and then you know the flavor stays in the middle. As far as I'm concerned. Well, there you go. I got too anxious to cook this stuff and got her done. Do you have an approval? So far, until the taste test. Anyways, we got uh, some wasps in there. We got a fuck potato. So uh, we're gonna hide in this corner. Paul, we're gonna hide in this corner. I don't have to hide. I'm just gonna watch and laugh. Okay, well, mom, go inside. <laughs> uh, I'll watch from the inside and. Oh, I'm the one doing well, this. Well, I guess you are now because you're not. Uh... <laughs> well, that's a different question. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Okay, well then film. It's for the gape and the free home. Okay, let's go film. Okay. 
I'm gonna film, but don't run away for nothing. I, I'm running into the house right away. They're nice, nice and quiet. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. They're nice and quiet. Look, look. No, no. Oh, that could have Oh, that hurts. Okay, that's enough. Get in. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> oh, that's uh that shoots far. Smelly stuff. Yeah. All right, I got my dad here. Dad, what are we doing? I don't know yet. Oh, he's confused. So am I. I should be going home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we built that sluice box, and uh, now we're going to go test it out. We're probably going to not get anything, but it's all for the, the thrill of the hunt. So if any of you see that we don't put a video up, that means we got arrested on uh, either... Uh, uh, native uh, reserve so get a hold of the RZMP and find out if we're still here <laughs> get us out of jail please yes. all right so this is what happened we had the sluice box set up over there we were digging out of the river you know thinking maybe we could find something not a chance dad goes in the bush here takes one shovel full and we got our first speck I don't know if you'll be you can see that a little speck of orange, <laughs> yellowy stuff. One shovel full. Yeah. Aside from 30 minutes of sluicing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep digging we're, out of that bank. We're gonna try and save this little piece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dumbass. Didn't Maybe really. Maybe I'll make a ring out of this. Eh? Yeah. We got a mosquito. Anyways, we're gonna uh, work at it some more there, and uh, I'll be right back. Out of truck. We're gonna instructions. All right, so uh, this is what we got out of that clean out with my dad. I don't think you'll need the hose anymore. No, I need a hose. Now I got my cousin and my uncle. They're going to help me clean up, <coughs> clean out. We'll see if we can uh, find anything. All right. All right. We're on our way back to the gold spot. Got my uncle. Hello. And my two cousins. Uh, my dad's got to prep the lawn for some sod at my sister's place. It's like she planned it perfectly. She's like, yeah, I'm going to get married just so people can come over and fix my shit. Smart, eh? I fixed my handles yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're on our way to the spot. Uh, we got a little bit of gold yesterday for, like, the four, the, like, ten shovelfuls that I put through the sluice box. We got, like, you know, ten little pieces of gold. And I'm talking little, like. There's one tiny little flake that's like, you know, decent. <laughs> but today we brought a whole crew and I just me and my dad and probably get some more work done and get some more stuff that we could pan. So yeah, let's have some fun. See you at the river. Where? We'll see you at the river. A vial? Yeah. No shit. Perfect. I need that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good eye. We were here yesterday. Sweet. Anyways, we just got here. My uncle found a vial, which I desperately need for my gold. Look what your dad found, a vial. There's no gold in it, but it's good. We need this. So now I've got somewhere to put our gold. If I could fill this, that would be incredible, but it won't happen. All right, so we're going to set up, and then we'll show you what's going on. All right, we've got a bunch of material out of this hole. And Pat here, <coughs> just running it through the sluice box. Okay, so it's stuff in the front? Yeah. Just shake it back and forth. Yeah. Don't go where the grill is there, just where the clean is. There you go. Oh, look at that. Having fun? Oh yeah! Uncle's panning. Alright, we just did our first clean out. 
And it's gonna go a lot better than yesterday because yesterday we were just throwing everything in the sluice box, but we're cleaning out everything. We're putting in uh, all the fines, we're leaving out the big rocks. It's gonna be awesome. So uh, we're now on round number two with the sluice box. All right, we emptied out our uh, last sluice. We got two sluices in there now, and uh, we got it all back and set up. We're gonna run one last bucket of super fine stuff. We're cleaning out all the little rocks. They're all the big rocks. And just our material to go through. And uh, after that's done, after this bucket's done through that, and then we're gonna pull it apart, clean her up, and uh, head her on home. Because we got a big dinner tonight, and you know, you think these wild boys out in the jungle wouldn't have important pressing matters. What we do? Yeah, we did a couple test pans, and uh, we actually got a pretty nice nugget out of one of them. Not a nugget, but that yeah, thing. It's nice. So All right, we're super tired. We worked super hard. Oh, you guys pooched? Oh, yeah. freaking right. <laughs> Anyways, we got lots of material to pan. We've even found a really nice one. I think I uh, videoed it already. If I did, then oh well. It's uh, right there. Ching, ching, ching. So, uh, yeah, we're heading out. It's lunchtime. The storms are brewing wild up on the hills. There's lightning flashing everywhere. Wow, we're completely surrounded. Come on, my nature. Give us some range. Yeah, come on, you're on video, Mother Nature. Oh. Over there. I'll, I'll film over there and then it'll be over there and then I'll film over there and it'll be over there. Yeah, but... Oh well. <laughs>